Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Expert here at Silka. I'm Travis, uh, the e-commerce manager. So today we're going to take you through uh, what we like to call the Gatorade bottle method of cleaning a chain. So uh, we're actually going to substitute Gatorade bottles for ball jars. That's, that's kind of my preference here because uh, they have a little bit wider mouth, easier to get the chain in and out of. It's a multiple step process. We only need to do it once before we wax a chain. Um, and then that way you have a really nice clean metal finish so the wax has something good to stick to. So um, kind of the materials we're going to need here, a couple ball jars, uh, you might need a few more than this. Um, we are going to start with mineral spirits if it's a new chain. Uh, if it's a chain that has been used at all before, we're going to skip this step entirely. So, uh, And then we are going to use some degreaser. This is uh, Chemical Guys orange degreaser. Um, it's going to be aerospace grade. We want to make sure we'll cover that later. Um, and then we're going to finish the process off in denatured alcohol. Um, and then obviously, we're going to need our chain. Alrighty, like we said before, the first step is going to be soaking in mineral spirits. This one's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to put the chain in the ball jar um, and cover it in mineral spirits. You have a couple options here. Um, if you have some time on your hands, do this. Let it shake it up, let it soak overnight, come back the next day, take it out, you'll be ready to go. Uh, if you're in a little bit more of a hurry, <clears throat> give it a good shake for 10, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, maybe 10 minutes. The, the really important piece here is this is only for a new chain. And really the purpose here is we're getting all that cosmoline, the, the um, factory grease, off of the chain. And that stuff is really great for shipping uh, to keep rust off of the chain really bad for a lubricant. So what we want to do is remove that and the mineral spirits is really good at breaking that down. The reason we don't want to use mineral spirits uh, if the chain has been used is it will trap water on the chain. Um, and if you leave it overnight and it's, it has any water on it at all, uh, you'll come back to a rusty chain in the morning that we don't want to see. So uh, for a new chain we're going to start with a bath of mineral spirits um, for a uh, previously used chain, maybe you've maybe you've done a few rides on it or something. Uh, we're going to skip that step, and we're just going to go straight into degreaser. You just might need um, a few more baths of degreaser. Uh, so now that we've um, this this chain has already gone through a mineral spirits bath, uh, so we're going to skip that step here and just go straight into the degreaser. Alrighty, now that we have a chain uh, with all the cosmoline and, and the factory grease off of it. Uh, we're going to take that into our first bath here of uh, degreaser. So this is a six to one mixture, uh, six parts water, one part uh, chemical guys orange degreaser. Uh, we're going to drop that in, tighten the lid here, and we're going to give this a good shake. So um, kind of the, the best possible method is our ultrasonic cleaner. We have a video to that that we'll link down below. Um, but really what we're doing here is kind of simulating the ultrasonic and giving it a really good shake, trying to get loose all that uh, dirt, grime, oil that might be in there or uh, leftover uh, factory grease. So we'll go ahead and give this a shake for a good 5-10 minutes, um, and then we'll be ready for the next bath. Alrighty, now that we have uh, given our chain a really good shake in the degreaser, we're going to take the lid off here. Uh, this chain is particularly clean, um, but a lot of times you'll start to see little flakes throughout here. Um, so what we're going to do um, is take this out, and then I like to give it a good rinse to get rid of all of this. Um, try to blow out any of the dirt and grime that might be in there. So we'll go ahead and rinse this chain. Um, and then we'll get ready for its second bath in the degreaser. Alrighty, now that we have our chain uh, rinsed and uh, ready for its second bath of degreaser, uh, what you can do is take a uh, new fresh batch of degreaser um, to, to drop this chain in because we don't want to use the, the older one because this is kind of the final step um, to get it as clean as possible. And you can take that old degreaser uh, and dump it into a new can through a coffee filter. Um, that way you can reuse it and you're not just going through chemicals over and over again. So um, we'll go ahead. It might take more than two. Um, if it's a used chain, you might look be looking at three or four um, degreaser bats. Really what you're looking for is you want to make sure that the degreaser is clear um, and you're not getting any more uh, you're not getting any more dirt or debris out of the chain. So uh, we'll go ahead and drop this in. 
and we'll give it a shake for another five or ten minutes um, and then we'll be ready for the final step. Alrighty, now we have our chain out of the out of the degreaser. Um, we did two baths. You might need to do three, maybe four, uh, just depending on how this is looking. So uh, you can see we still have uh, a pretty clear liquid here, um, which is telling us that we got everything out of there, and this chain is about as clean as it can get. So the final step is we're going to use some denatured alcohol, and what that's going to do is uh, attach to any of the residue from the degreaser that might still be on there. Um, when this dries really well, you can still kind of feel a little bit of sliminess from the degreaser itself, and we don't want that. So we don't want the wax to be sticking to the degreaser. We want it to be sticking to the metal. So we're going to use the denatured alcohol. It's going to, um, uh, when we pull it out, it's going to flash off really quickly and take that degreaser with it. So um, the, the big difference here between mineral spirits and denatured alcohol Mineral spirits will hold the water in, denatured alcohol will push the water out. So that's why we want to use it as the last step. So we'll go ahead and drop the chain in, put the top on, and just like before, we're going to shake it for five or ten minutes, um, and then we'll uh, be ready to take it out, hang it up to dry, and put it on the bike. Alrighty, now we've given the uh, chain a really good shake here. Um, as you can uh, probably see, there's very little particles floating in there, uh, which means we just got that little bit of degreaser off of there, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now we have a perfectly clean chain. Uh, we're going to pull that out, hang it up, and let it dry. Um, usually it doesn't take more than a few minutes to, to really get it dry, but just make sure it is before we try to wax it. Um, so if you're using the super secret wax, once the chain is dry, go ahead and uh, mount the chain on the bike and drip the lube on. If you're going to use our secret blend hot wax, go ahead and put it in the crock pot, instant pot, or even the sous vide bag that the wax comes in um, and we'll be able to go from there. So um, we'll get this chain pulled out of here and we'll hang it up to dry. Alrighty, now that we have our chain uh, clean, it is hanging up to dry and it'll be ready to wax here in just a couple minutes. Um, just as a reminder, this is only the initial step. Uh, we do not need to go through this process every time you need to relube your chain, or um, it is just to prep the chain to be ready to take wax. Once you um, have started waxing, you can hot wax every uh, two to three hundred miles. Um, you could use super secret every two hundred or so miles. So um, of that is a clean dry riding. So. You want to. You also want to re-wax after a wet ride, uh, re-drip re lube after a wet ride. Now that we have our chain ready to go, um, we'll leave you with that. If you have any other questions, comments, leave them in the comments section. Send us an email uh, and we'll be happy to get back with you.